The New Republic's presence in the mid and outer rim was threatened when Nam Koryos came under attack, although our forces were bravely able to push off the Imperial advance. This made room for the highly decorated General Garm Liblis to lead the attack on Colimus, one of the few remaining enemy bases in the core. Alright, we are back for real this time, playing the New Republic. So, the hope for today is for us to eliminate the happy purpy, happy purpy, happy purple people. Hello, Tempe Mark and Grunt Owner in the chat. Uh, we are going to, I think, build up the goal in one primary star base. But I think, uh, I think these Hapens are about to go. James Grant is asking in the chat. So before, before this stream, I was having a lunch that was later than I'd hoped. Uh, because I got up later than I'd hoped and then moved everything back. Because uh, I didn't get to sleep until like 9 a.m. But James Grant is asking whether I had bone-in chicken wings or boneless chicken wings. And that is a trick question because there's no such thing as boneless chicken wings. It doesn't exist. Those aren't chicken wings. Those are popcorn chicken or chicken nuggets. I'm sorry, everyone. They're just not, it's not real. We got three Dreadnought Heavy Cruisers on Commodore. Uh, space structures... Oh, we don't... Getting the typical EAW... Uh, holocron behavior. Take us in. Where are our ground forces? There's Luke. There's Silgal. Get you guys up there. Get them moving. So if I can take out Cheruba and Hapes before... They really get rolling. Like, maybe I will go... Turn on, Cruel. I think we might be able to, uh, to do that. We have Memory of Technoblade. We have Spirit of Santa. Red Abellion come in. We have Illor. Yeah, let's use Illor. Uh, I'm gonna pause, or... Yeah, sort of pause that. Because there's going to be, uh, there's going to be a decent amount of reinforcements from the station, so this isn't going to be quite as, uh, quite as easy as it looks based on the the station being a small or a shipyard being a smaller one. Because the way the Hapens work is they get uh, they get their garrisons based on the station level rather than the shipyard level well, they get they get some garrisons from the shipyard but their shipyards are all the same level so Ooh. look I understand that my food takes are not the most respected in the land that's fine but this is one where I am just objectively right like Boneless wings aren't a thing. Like, you can like the things that people erroneously label boneless wings. That's your choice to make. But, it's not a thing. Uh, I'm not loving Spirit of Santa's health there. All right, we gotta get this other battle dragon before it is protected and pumping out too much damage. Then it's just uh, getting into the into the station. We can, we can get into the station. Alright, uh, you are gonna be putting out a lot of... a lot of anti-shield damage for the betas. I actually, so today I put out, ooh, let's see. no, oh well, uh, so today I, I put out a video about uh, one of the, or possibly the most important feature that modders might want to, to have added to Empire at War if we were to ever get another patch potentially, uh, ooh, where's the, okay. You exploded. But I'm also working on a video that will hopefully help people with planning fleet compositions. So a video that kind of goes over how unit stats work and which situations things are good in. 
like how you might want to plan your fleets. So not necessarily like breaking down every unit in the mod and telling you exactly when to use each one, but kind of going over what different stats mean and like when certain stats are important. Uh, so that I'm hoping to get out next week. Because uh, it, the hope is that it was going to be about like 10 minutes, but then it ended up being 20 minutes, so it'll be a little bit of editing to do. They also need to do a data pad video or two in there. Uh, I think we've got most of the weapons off of that side, but the, the firing arcs on stations are always fairly wide, so we're still getting, getting some shots in on us. Let's move you up there. Uh... I'm not saying that there's no meat from chicken wings in boneless wings, but once they're boneless, you're not eating... It's not the thing, it's not the thing you're doing. It's just, it's not. It's a nugget. Alright, there we go. Got our first station. It'll be a bit harder coming into Hapes, but, uh... We'll have to check what their station level there is. I think we will turn on Cruel AI after... after this battle. Uh... It'll be... Maybe a little dangerous, given that we are gonna be focusing on the... or yeah, focusing on the Hapens and the Corellians. Uh, rather than the Empire in the near future. But it's been a while since we've done... since we've done some cool stuff. Let's pop you onto... power to weapons. There we go. We lost Ascension. Very sad. Our ground units are coming in. We're building that up. Uh, Ward Mantel, we can get an ion cannon. About to invade Kashyyyk. Interesting. So that's going to be... I mean, that's still going to be the Hapens coming. No... Oh, actually, that might be the Huts coming. I completely forgot the Huts were over there. So maybe we'll do... Mm, you know what? Oh, you know. Just, just do it. Construction complete. Just do it. Alright, that should mean, though, that we start working on getting that into a better place. There is going to be the uh, the Avethan fleet that's roving around still. Okay, yeah, that was, that was huts, not Apens. Hmm. We might be able to get a few kills on this, but I think it's going to be ground that we have to defend it on. Uh, I don't know that I'm going to turn on the Starhawk and MC-75 in this playthrough, even though I do love me some Starhawk. Completely forgot about that when I was setting up the, the choosing your ships. But oh well. Right, let's uh let's roll back here a little bit, and like maybe we'll get some smaller ships killed. I don't know that we'll have the same luck we did with uh our point defense positioning as last time. Well, that wasn't luck. That was just pure skill, obviously. But. It's a it's a smaller smaller set of units for us. We can probably kill a bunch of these Javards. They're gonna be coming in first. Like once the Vontors and Karaga are in, that is gonna be probably the end of this fleet. Open fire. They're fairly spread out. So Alright, let's see if we can concentrate on 
one of these little guys, because the power to shield is going to mean that they're more inclined to kite. Or, more able to. Maybe not more inclined in space. Orbital command available. Uh, Awaiting orders. Enemy spotted. Are you Orbital too far? Yeah, I think you're too far from that to uh, get hit by the goal in. So, you guys maybe just stay there. I'm on it. Receiving and... Y -wing standing by. We'll just Weapon do whatever we can with these guys. So this seems to be a fairly big... To set of the hut starting him. units. Roger that. At your command. Decoding transmission. Uh, Ready maybe move the one of the CR 90s a bit farther over. A lot of the the units they have up front here aren't actually what you typically expect the heavy assault conch damage from. It's mostly when those get in that that will be the case. Uh, where's the other heroes? Attack. There's one there. The one there. Are they more back here? Yeah. Looks like Quayfog is I can't see him. hanging out. Decoding transmission. They have disabled our lasers. Roger that. All right. Uh, go for the Cossack then. But there was actually a change that was made fairly recently on the AI side where a lot of starting units were actually not being picked up by the AI properly for use in attacks or even like moving around for defense in on the galactic level and Bob was able to find out why that's been the case uh, so that'll probably end up meaning that <clears throat> Some other adjustments need to be made based on, like, older systems being set up around the old status quo. Uh, so we'll have to keep an eye on that, but it, it at least means, like, all the stuff is now working properly, so we can make better decisions about how that can all apply in practice. Yeah, I might need to try to switch you around. I don't think we're getting the Saj in, but... I might... I might try it. I copy, sir. Roger that. Guns at the ready. Okay, that's... Station not ready. ideal. I got one on me. Our target priority right is the laser cannon. Right it would have been nice to kill Truno, but... He is a little too protected back there. Okay, the Golan is... Still going here, but... I think there's enough tenders. Our target priority mm. is the laser cannon. Orbital command available. Calling for me, sir. Okay. Yeah, that's not gonna. I think that's gonna come through. We should be able to hold on the ground. A few kills. Press the stop recording button instead of mute while I try to clear my throat more. Very good job, me. Okay. Uh, we don't need to hang around with Bellibliss. So let's put you up there. And we'll hope for the best on Kashyyyk. But Akbar, We don't have that many... many ships to work with anywhere we do have a decent economy that's kind of the our limits of power here so maybe we'll get a majestic and a defender and can i get another one of each yeah if i just move leia i can build a little bit faster another majestic another defender what's the actual pop on that that's only 180 so, hopefully if we can get through the Hapens fast enough, we'll be able to keep going there. But I did put up a, a proper poll, uh, since there weren't that many votes on the on the episode poll, about which uh, which game we should play first of some of the some of the older Star Wars ones between Jedi Outcast and Rogue Squadron. And Jedi Outcast won, so that's what we're going to start with. Uh, that doesn't mean we're never playing Rogue Squadron, it'll just mean like doing Rogue Squadron after Jedi Outcast. 
Uh, so I know there was a, there was some concern about it just meaning that we never get there. Uh, but basically, that's the plan for the two games to play before Outlaws comes out, depending on how long they take. They might be relatively fast to beat, so we might be able to hop into, like, Jedi Academy at that point, which uh, would probably be game number three on that list. I don't think I've played Dark Forces 2 on the channel, so I, I might want to drop that one in as well. But then, I, I didn't want to go immediately into KOTOR, because KOTOR and KOTOR 2 are longer, I don't think I'd be able to beat them uh, without just like super rushing it before Outlaws comes out. Uh, let's get some infantry in there, and we'll send Silgul as well. I don't know why I sent Luke up here. This doesn't seem like the best use of Luke's time right now. Uh, do I have any other infantry over there? I really don't. So, I think we're going to be fine with this set of... This set of units, this uh, this population. Uh, Alright, that's an AA turret. That's unfortunate for you. Where do you need have I played the Clone Wars game from 2002? I have. Not uh, not on the channel, but uh, I did play that one back in the day. A rebel? Like, ultimately, the only ones that are really off the table are the ones that are just, like, impossible to get working on, uh, on modern hardware. Because, like, Rebellion, I would really like to play more of or try to play more of. Uh, I didn't get that down. Well, but uh, the, the plan was to get Luke to get that turret activated or taken down while the stuff came in, but I, I just didn't do it. Uh, but yeah, so like the Rebellion I'd really like to play, but Rebellion is also just so difficult to get working, uh, like to get it to actually record. So like that one's kind of on the on the cusp. Where I'll probably still try to do it, but uh, I haven't tried to play it on like Windows 11. I know people still play the game. Usually it's recording it that's the problem. So it'll be. That one's kind of up in the air, but for stuff that's like either easy to emulate or readily available on modern PCs, that stuff's where, where the fun lives. All right, I think we got most of their stuff. We got ourselves a Cheruba, and we killed Bead Thane. All right, we could go to Hapes right away. That seems maybe unfeasible. Like this fleet is not the best for taking that out. Let's put you up with Akbar. I know Akbar famously not a fan of smugglers, so he's going to have to just accept being with Booster Tarek. Uh, Rafsan could destroy all their shipyards at once. So I'd have to go through all four of the planets right now, and that would be probably tougher for, uh, for our fleet to do right now. Like, the Hapens aren't getting more benefit out of this level 3 than out of a level 2, because for the Hapens, the shipyards are all the same. But, like, our biggest fleet right now is uh, a Red of Bells with 179 pop. So it'd be a little too risky to run into something that we can't hand up to right now. Uh, Leonardo's asking, am I going to play Bounty Hunter Remastered? I hope so. The, the fear with that right now is... Uh, oh, shit. I... Didn't even. I didn't even do our election. So I'm gonna do the Chiefs of State. Research complete. Is. I think we'll just do Vicky Sash so we can Vehicle do the research. Enemy fleet approaching. Uh, did I cancel the Majestic? I cancel the Defender. Unit. Yeah, the the ideal like I'd I'd love to play the. Uh, the Bounty Hunter remaster, but 
I'm a little bit worried about that one because after what happened with KOTOR 2 from uh, Aspire, even leaving aside like the KOTOR remake, I'm wondering how anything's doing at uh, the enemy is approaching. at Embracer right now. Okay. You have a name? You're just in City Liberty. Named Justice, but you're not a Justice variant. Are there plans to add more units to the option that adds Starhawks and Imperial units? Uh, Oz was planning to do more of the Imperial, like, Fractal Sponge sub mod. But there's no plans for more for the. Uh, for the cannon unit some mod at the moment. Copy. Attack. Reporting. All craft. Like there'll be more cannon units in Imperial Reign. But well maybe the maybe some of the sequel era stuff, but open fire. Yes, sir. That is setting course. Like stuff that's just already done or if it gets finished. Frigate reporting. We're on the move. Okay, we need to get to these bombers. How do you feel about the submod that allows missiles to pierce? I mean, I released it, so it's not like I want it specifically to not exist. But I feel like people who think that bombers can only be useful if they penetrate shields are really missing out on a lot of the things that bombers are able to do for you and just how powerful they actually are in the game as it stands. Like, it's not what the game is designed, like what the mod is designed around. So, it's... Not a thing that, like, I use. Alright. We got a couple kills of that. We're gonna try to just get our MC-80 away. No reason to give that unit up while we still need it right now. I might have to start building some more ground defenses on some of these more out-of-the-way planets. Because our space defenses at the moment are probably not going to hold. Uh, but we'd be more capable of building up ground defenses we can hold out with. That'll redirect some money, but it's less money than building a big fleet on each planet as well. Uh, so... I'm going to just build some infantry right now. See if anything comes of that. Yeah, but it's probably safe with Mara over here. But I'll still get a structure. I could even sneak Mara into Namkorios, but I think they're going to get to... Uh, Namkorios first. I could send her to Rivester while they're invading Namkorios. So that could be funny. Construction complete. We got to Kashyyyk. I'd, I don't know that getting to Kashyyyk was necessarily the right idea. But we might be able to to pull off something. The enemy has been spotted. Like I don't have a fundamental opposition to uh to shield penetration as a concept. But here's prosperous unification. Like, it's just, it's not what the mod is designed around, so it's... Alright, well, they're going over there. Let's get in our Liberator. Get in Disco Stu. Herald. And then... Dauntless Heavy Cruiser reporting. I read you. Target confirmed. Targets incoming. 
Reporting and you guys get over there. How can I help? We're ready, Admiral. Assault frigate here. Moving out. On my way. Moving to coordinate. We're just gonna kill some heroes and then leave. Right away. Watermelon, agave at all. Commander. Ready. Get him. Get him. This wasn't our battle to win. There. Okay, so we might end up giving up a Dauntless for that. I don't think we will. I think we're getting through the engines. There we go. Three wins. Oh, that's not where I wanted to necessarily retreat to. Uh, like I, I still don't believe in our ability to get over there. But again, let's uh, let's see if Mara wants to go take Rybester. Because I think they're going to be taking a lot of those away. Leia's won the New Republic election. Oh, I, I should have just sped that. Vicky's here. Okay, well, Leia, fine. You're still in power. In the middle of building the upgrade. Very sad missed time. But let's get a bat over. And I'm going to move him over there. I don't think he's in good shape for that either. We'd be able to win if we had both of those together. But I probably just need to go forward with this, uh, with the the Hapen plan. Building under construction. The good part about going for Hapes directly would mean it splits up their territory. But if we go Relifon and then Hapes, that's almost as good. Engage. Tactical battle imminent. So I don't think the Hapens have had a chance to build up too much yet. Are there any more heroes you can get besides Tag playing as the CSA? I don't Enemy think there's any more progression heroes for them right now. There might be one or two. I'm not 100% sure. It's been a while since I've played. And people have done a little bit of content, like fleshing out parts of their stuff. But I'm not sure what categories that all necessarily fits into. Like, they're still on the list for progression mechanics and content and stuff. But Banana Stan, Animus reanimated, or er, Romanetti. Not reanimated. I just, just saw the R after Animus and I was like, you know what? That's probably just repeating the same name. It, it wasn't. Uh, okay, I'm a little bit worried about this one. It's going to be lower garrison levels. They have just the beta. So once these battle dragons are gone, they're actually gone for good. So, I think we want to go for Alicia first, or we just want to get the Neutron. I think getting the Neutron first makes more sense, because we're not going to be able to take out all of their, uh, all of their heroes right up front. All right, where, what is getting shot? You're getting shot, which is kind of weird. Uh, who has... Power to weapons. Okay, we're going to be through on that in a second. Then we are taking heavy turbo You know what, if you have power to weapons up, I'm sorry. You got to go. This just got to happen. That was a very unfortunate timing on the on the screenshot. All right. Uh, now let's get. Strip those shields. Cover me. You, or no, you're already you're using power weapons. Because power weapons means you take more damage That's while it. you're putting out more damage, so it's not. It's not going to take as much for us to to get through them. Ready for duty. Initiating attack. And then... Oh, How are you looking, Retta? You're fine. Okay, let's get the bombers onto there. Let's get that. And I'm going to switch you to there, too. Uh, you're going to move back. 
You're going to move out of there. And I think because you guys are so heavily shield oriented or ion oriented, I'm going to get that for you. All right, everyone else put your... I think we're probably better off getting the projectile redirection up. Uh, but let's get the X-Wings to come back. We don't have the most anti-fighter on this side. There we go. You're still moving out. And Nebula, get the other... Get the other battle dragon. There we go. So we're probably going to lose you. That's okay. This is Charis all over again. Beginning our engagement. Attack their engines. Oh, there's still a battle dragon hidden in there. Commencing attack. Awaiting orders. Bell. Boarding. Mon Calamari crews are ready. All right. This is another hit. This is our. I think that's our first hero loss. Mara will be another hero. Ooh, here's the stage. So they did still have a battle dragon in reserve from the shipyard. But we're getting most of these fighters out of here. Eagle leader is in the background there. Thank you, Lord, for subscribing. Very appreciated. Twenty months. All right. I think we can move you up a little bit more. Our X-wings are clearing out a lot of their fighters, but we can make sure we get the. Bombers off of you. Any of the incoming bombers. And I think we'll be able to let our shields come back a little bit. But it's only a level 2 station. Oh no, it's Meridian 3. With a Meridian 2 in the background. I don't know why I thought it was a, a level 2 station. I think I was just looking at the shipyard level and that made it into my brain as the... Uh, as the station level as well. Alright, we can actually kill Levet in space here. Are you the... No, you're not the missile. You are the turbo laser version. So, I'm just going to actually try to send you after Levet. So, let's get all these fighters and bombers over here. Open fire! Attack that target! Shields to maximum. Bring orders. And here, you know what? Let's uh, let's go for the two first. It's gonna bring you all in. No, you can you can get out. Maybe you can't get out. Reporting. Keep your eyes open. It's hoping they go for the MC80B first. But yes, with you being such a fragile little guy under the shields, you're probably gone. Yeah, just in range there. Unnecessary. That one was unnecessary. Okay, I'm going to move you over to the next one. And I really want to make sure we get Levette before we can retreat. Let's get the fighters and bombers onto the three. Captain here. Orders, sir. Dreadnought crews are ready. Moving. one on me. Maybe I do need to send them over. Target's coming in fast. Because killing Levet, I think, is the most important thing we can do right now. Uh. Frequency open. Heavy crews are standing by. It's gonna be tough to get past the shipyard with a lot of them. There, you can you can swap too. You can swap. You can swap. That was a lot of the the Hapen heroes here. So even though it was a smaller, uh, smaller station. There we go. Elevet's gone. 
Those are all Corvettes. Uh, let's get up to the shipyard with you. May as well bring some of you in more. We'll have to replenish a little bit, but if we can bring a bot in, that might be enough to make Hapes itself. Well, Hapes, we're going to have to go up against Napoleon, so I'd rather... I'd rather build up and maybe save Hapes for last. Because if we can stop the Hapen, if they have even just Hapes itself left, they're probably going to be able to build up on Cruel to being a a threat we have to worry about constantly in our back line. So I'd like to avoid that. Uh, there it is. Relifon is ours in space, at least. Uh, lost Banana Stand, Sentry in the Making, and Ula. Killed a bunch of their heroes. But that, I think, is going to do it for our first episode here today. We're going to keep going on Twitch. But for those of you watching on YouTube, thank you for watching. I hope to see you next time. Bye, everyone.